Good morning, you lovely lot. It's Tim Wild Friday Ascension update, and it's very cold and crispy out here this morning. And uh, yeah, I want to talk this morning uh, about a subject which I've probably touched upon in my videos previously, and you will have definitely heard me talk about it um, when you are att if 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 and when you've attended my kind of online Zoom workshops and. Uh, Carolyn Bennett and I covered the subject last night. We were talking about the various happenings that are going on on this planet, and but particularly the movement of something which um, I've kind of named the global navel chakra, um, the, the, the movement of the global navel chakra. Now, one of the enduring questions that many of us have asked ourselves or the groups that we kind of um that, that we're in on social media is like <laughs> what is going on out there at the moment <laughs> you know we we all signed up for this ascension process and um we downloaded the energies we did the inner work we did the outer work we've called for change we've we've push 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 right from the outset to, and with with the intention of improving our world and all of a sudden change is upon us and um, like I've said previously it might not necessarily be presenting itself in the form that we find the most palatable but nevertheless change is here now the over the over the course of me tuning into all of these energies over the years and analyzing them and breaking them down I've kind of found that things have happened in in kind of segments or allocated sections and one very prominent thing that occurred was it the the activation of the global heart center on the lion's gate in 2017 i'm sure many of you will have already heard me discussing this but the light rose so high so quickly in that three week period in in the august lion's gate 2017 that every single heart center on the planet was triggered at a fifth dimensional frequency therefore pushing vast amounts of souls into a tunnel which we call you know uh, we we rightly so call the dark night of the soul and there's this wave there's been wave of after wave of this occurring and as, as as you all know the 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 consciousness and the wake-ups all depend on what your soul contract is and how much resistance is involved with the wake-up and and when you push through that tunnel of the dark night it, it's it's you stay there <laughs> you stay there however long you allow yourself to stay there basically the level of resistance is usually indicative of the level of the experience that you have or simply whatever initiation that you might have signed yourself up for at the time but the navel chakra is the era or the period of time collectively which I saw or was told was coming in immediately after the heart. So it's almost like we had two years of, of kind of a time, space and various happenings on this planet for us to integrate this global activation of the heart center. Now, when I was given that information that that had occurred on the planet, I, natu I, I naturally thought that, that it, it, the information was incorrect. It's like, how can everybody act like they do on this planet when they've had their 5D heart center triggered? Like, surely that should be love, peace and unity, but oh no, it's quite the opposite. Uh, like I said just a minute ago, it pushes you, the, the second you you activate the heart center at a 5d frequency the ego jumps up to defend itself like it's been doing for the last 10,000 years and and that that's what we've been experiencing but on a global level so so what happened when the navel chakra the the global navel chakra activated now a lot of you might still be acquainted with the old seven chakra system um for those of you that are new to the page those of you that aren't new and have been following my work for a while will know that the diana cooper bought through the 12 chakra system in right back in 2003 i've been working with it ever since and that is pretty much what i see that everybody on this planet is now using the the old 3d chakra system no longer exists it has been pushed into the earth by the 5d chakra column that is descended from our higher selves our monads 
and that's what we're now using that's what we're embodying the frequency on this planet is very different although it might feel quite muddy at the moment and the navel chakra is the one chakra within the physical body okay that was was added so imagine you have the old seven chakra system you go from your crown to your base and there were seven well the navel chakra appeared or has appeared between the solar plexus and the sacral and then on top of it you have the transcendent chakras the stellar gateway the soul star the causal and you have the navel which has appeared physically and the earth star chakra below the soles of the feet but what makes the navel chakra so special is apart from the fact that we've had to physically make room for it which has caused energetic and physical changes on it on its own level it, when it when it was when it downloaded in in the chakra column first of all all of the fun and all of the excitement and all of the attention was on the transcendent chakras above the top of the head because naturally they are the first to receive the light coming in the stellar gateway is incredibly exciting it's connected to archangel metatron and all of the light comes in through the stellar gateway and it's it's just a magnificent chakra to play with then you've got the soul star, which is, so say, kind of like 18 inches above the top of your head. That's amazing as well, because it's where you reclaim your gifts and talents from, from your past lives. And now that we're using it, we're all kind of stepping into this this high level of mastery that we, we all know. We all know, you know, we, we might kind of stagger around on this planet for a little bit, wondering why on earth what we're doing here. Then we get drawn to do what we are incarnate what we've incarnated here to do and all of that information that we're bringing through that we we are naturally gravitating to is stored within the soul star chakra so that's an exciting one to use the causal chakra just above the top of your head which looks like your own personal moon I mean, that's the gateway to the angelic kingdom so of course that that's had loads of attention as well and it's connected to the moon so every time we get a full moon or a new moon the the causal chakra kind of goes into a, this incredible state of almost what i describe as hypertension and just it just looks amazing so it's almost like the navel chakra got a little bit overlooked it's just it, it's it's there it's bright orange looks like your own personal sun but appeared to me to be what i would r almost regard as dormant for a considerable period of time and then it was the conversation that I had with Archangel Metatron as, as 2019 turned to 2020. And he was talking to me as I saw the new year and he said, this is the year that the change occurs. And um, over the years, we've heard this so many times. We've heard about new energies. We've heard about fantastic planetary alignments. We've heard of like these, these moons that are no longer full moons anymore. They're all super moons. Everything is kind of amplified a thousandfold. So when I got the information, 2020 is going to be this spectacular, special change filled year. I was like, yeah, great. Okay. Well, I really hope something occurs. And then boom, February, it, it all started, but what stuck out in this conversation for me was the fact that Archangel Metatron gave me the date. He said February 2020 is when the global navel chakra activates on a full level. And he said that is when the changes start to occur. So every single one of us on this planet now has got a navel chakra which is pulsing or radiating almost I'd say every 5.5, the number that was given to me yesterday was 5.5, every 5.55 seconds it pulses. It, and, and this pulse, this flash or light beaconing almost, is connected to everybody else's navel chakra. So the planet is pulsing via the navel chakra every 5.55 seconds. And what it is doing, the energy, that it, the way it's been described, is it is terraforming our our reality at a higher level. So the, the navel chakra, for want of a better word, contains a blueprint. It's a blueprint, or, or my, my friend Paul de Brea Carey describes it as a gold print. We've moved from the old colours to the new colours, and the gold print is for the golden age. So within the navel is stored a gold print <coughs> for our future. OK, and that 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 is basically how we are going to be living at a higher level, the way that we school our children, the way that we 
communicate with each other, the way that we love each other, the way that we work, the way that we earn money, the way that we integrate with the planet, the way we heal ourselves, the way we treat ourselves, the, uh, even down, to, you know, every single little thing, industries, travel, everything like this is going to be terraformed and is in the process of being terraformed so that it exists at a higher frequency. So this is the this is the incredible power that is being generated via the navel chakra at the moment on a on a global collective level. Individually it works very powerfully for us because it connects us to everybody. It connects us to your brothers and sisters, the the trees, the plants, the plants, the flowers, the, the very essence of Mother Earth herself. All of us are connected by the navel. So the period that we're going through at the moment, this incredible intensive change that, that you might be receiving <clears throat> so many different types of guidance for, it's all because of this wave of energy that literally, is, it's almost, it looked to me like it detonated and spread around the planet like a wave when in, in February last year when the global navel chakra activated. And Quite simply, that is why we are living the experience that we're living at the moment. It's because we are, we have chosen, a, eh? we have chosen to experience this. We are all masters incarnated in physical form at, the, at this present moment in time, just in various level, various different stages of awakening. I'm sure that all of you listening to this today, apart from maybe one or two, will already be very aware of your pathway and be aware of the fact that you are here to kind of bring the planet into a higher frequency. And some of you know what you're doing. Some of you are still kind of awaiting your instructions. But very recently, um, particularly in the last week or so, I've been guided to utterly completely step away from the news not just kind of dabbling in a little bit like I do just to keep myself informed but completely remove myself and I'm just wondering if any of any of you have been kind of guided to do the same the energy has risen very sharply so we've had our couple of foxes it's mating season here apparently funny enough they're all running around the garden so it's so that that guidance was very, that was guidance has been coming to me over, over the course of the particularly the last year is detune from anything which is kind of maybe a bit worrying a bit toxic and and just literally focus on keeping my vibration as clear and as pure and as high as possible so we've had our two weeks following the 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 the, the new year and it's usually roughly about now that we have integrated on a physical level the quantity of Christ light that comes in over the solstice. So we've done that now, we're on the other side of it. But now we're experiencing the intensifying of the of, of the kind of the separation of the two matri the, the two matrices. So you know, the one that we're living in like kind of coexisting in in these in these separate states of consciousness. It's it's being indicated to me very much on a on a very much higher level now to focus on keeping my vibration as absolutely tip top and as high as possible because it's very important to be creating in our reality at the moment what we wish to see and what we wish to experience rather than the the programming that the news would like us to so it's all about kind of self-mastery, self-sovereignty. Getting yourself into that is... It, that I, f I found quite a lot of conflict with myself over the last year or so because th I've been thinking to myself uh, week in, week out, how can I be aware of what's going on on this planet if I'm not tuned into the news? But and then I realised, that, as most of you already know, that 99.9% .9 of whatever is reported on mainstream media is, is, is basically a fairy tale. So you have to pick and choose what it is that works for you and, and what is vibrating as truth within your reality. So that's my guidance at the moment, is to stay very grounded in my frequency. And, and looking very carefully at keeping my vibration as high as possible. I'm sure you're all getting the same advice. If there's, if there's fear out there, 
they they you know like the, the they would like you to tune into it um but my my guidance is that the field that we've created and the field that the global navel chakra has projected into reality is now very strong and we can spend as much time existing in that as, as possible the more time we are tuned into it the more time we are existing in that state of love peace unity harmony you know the the everything that higher consciousness invokes within us the stronger that reality gets so yeah i hope i mean i might have covered a bit of ground that i've covered previously about the global navel this morning but we are living in the most incredible time and it is going to get more incredible okay but most importantly for where we are to create harmoniously alongside this blueprint or this gold print the highest frequency possible is essential okay it doesn't the what what we are creating or what has been created or laid out for us via the via the navel chakra does not exist at a lower frequency it does not resonate it does not harmonize it simply cannot form that that bandwidth of energy it cannot exist in there so it can only exist at the higher frequency anything that's going on in that world will sit it's simpler the, the it's like trying to put a square shape into a round hole the two just don't fit with each other so it's again it's always down to personal choice what do you put your energy into where do you put your focus and i know where i'm going and i know where i've been i've been sort of like you know advising everybody to to look for the last two three four years the only way is up the only way is up anyway i'm getting quite chilly out here this morning and i've been talking about it for for a little while now um yeah any more information about the navel chakra or about the 12 chakras go to my website www.timwild.com because i've done a lot of work on it over the years diana cooper's got a fantastic amount of information about it as well I did a lovely workshop in the summer with um, David Essery as well, working working with the chakras, and he's got some amazing graphics for it as well. So yeah, check it out if you want to know more. And uh, I will be back on Monday with a meditation. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. Bye for now.